Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So, yeah, we've had a fairly decent break through structure, and uh, we had data that came out, and we had an opportunity to buy into it. I will look at those levels on the lower time frames. Uh, I think, you know, just keep this in the back of your mind. Look at all these buys that have been coming in on the weekly here, and if you look at the weekly bar at the moment, we are now sort of tackling these all-time highs again. So get the previous all-time high drawn in. You can see we made a slight high this year, just above it. But uh, that is going to be the level that price is going to interact with. Okay. Um, and I see I have the wrong template on here. Give me one sec while we get the video template on. Sorry, that was a Bill Williams template that we had there. Um, same principle. Just a little bit more, a little bit quicker to react to market change. Anyway, uh, if we start having a look at the, the structure, you can see we've been going sideways here for quite some time, and now we are pointing to the upside. We are grouped the upside on the oscillators, so we are a little bit overbought. Um, and so I just need to put that level back in because it is important. So there. There's the previous high, and you can see we've interacted with it in the past already. So V reversals are rare. I keep saying that, and uh, we do have what looks like a potential um, inverse head and shoulders. Here's your left shoulder, your head, and your right shoulder here. So that is the structure that we have in place on the higher time frames. And you can see this one was adhered to yesterday. That was at 16.116. So um, what we need to be doing is looking for opportunities to buy into this. And uh, they are there. They definitely are there. If you just look at the three hour, the oscillators are also grouped to the upside. So watch out for that. We are overbought. So typically when that happens, you don't want to be jumping in long at the top. You want to wait for a pullback, and the pullback would happen on the lower time frames before you jump in on it. Keep this head and shoulders in your sights, because as far as I'm concerned, that is a retest right there. And that happened with the data that came out yesterday, and the US CPI came out, which was slightly better than expected. Um, so looking at the hour, you'll see yesterday we had a bit of a rejection to start with. Uh, which is, again, an indication why I say to you, don't jump in at the top. Because when the oscillators are like that, don't jump in. Wait for the pullback. And you can see the pullback came. Let's just put both these levels in. I'm going to get them exact. So there's my first level. And then obviously there's my second level there. Right? And my third level would be quite far away, basically down there. And we almost touched that as well. Right, so the minute you drop down to the lower time frames um, and you're just waiting for the data to come out, which is uh, 2.30 my time, which is 12.30 GMT time, you can see as we waited for the data, look what was happening here on these levels. Then you had this massive squirt down, missed this level. But again, look in between here, there's lots of tails. Well, not so much these tails, this tail here. Put it in would have been another area there. So you could have done this on the five minutes as well. And you can see that big red bar there. Big up, big down, tails everywhere. That was your data, but you can see where the structure is. So came into the structure, fairly solid structure, buying opportunity, and up we went. Uh, for today, you'd probably be looking at the same thing. So, uh, I would be looking at wherever the structure is. You can see on the hour there isn't really anything. Oscillator is also grouped to the upside. If you look at this on the 15 minute, you can see we do have a little bit of structure. So let's just get it in. There's the first one. We have tested it already. Uh, take this one down here. And there is the next one which we are testing now. You can see there, there. And I would probably just look at that one as well. See this tail here. And then the 
daily high right there. Okay, so I would be looking for opportunities to be buying of 16181, 16172, and 16156. Your ultimate target is to hit 16300 again um, and possibly just get through 1600. Okay, so that's kind of my setup for today. Uh, 15 minute, five minutes, probably what you want to be doing. Wait for the oscillators to group to the downside. Look where the nearest structure is. Wait for price action. So you do have a bit of price action here already. We've got a bit of a pin bar for level and an engulfing bar. So there is a bit of structure here, but it is after hours. So I'd rather wait for the market open. Okay, anyway, if you like what you hear, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are. And uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.